Oh my guys, no this morning. Welcome back to another video from your boy Vicky. I recently shared a video for you guys about three hours, I think four hours ago, of how the Nigeria Super Eagles were disrespected in Libya. And currently they are on their way back to Nigeria, which is something I wanted because they no go feed disrespect us like that and they expect us to enter field tomorrow and start playing ball with them. No now, it no go make sense at all. I told you these guys stayed over 16 hours with no water, no food, no internet connection it was crazy those guys i think they were mentally stressed and uh, you can't expect them to enter field tomorrow and start playing but currently they're on their way back to nigeria libya people said we first did now the payback where they give us and these people came to nigeria look at the kind of boss we gave them <laughs> This was the kind of boss we gave them and can you imagine the kind of thing they gave to our super eagles? <laughs> imagine waiting they give super eagles, even though they are those boss where they use at Isakaba. You guys remember those movies? Crazy. It no makes sense at all. Currently, the Nigeria Super Eagles are on their way back to Nigeria. Libya people say now nah, we first do now nah, the payback where they give us. And I think somebody said something that made sense. Make it hear what's in this man talk. I've been seeing a lot of chatter online saying that we did it first to Libya. We did not do anything to Libya. We are great hosts. You see, Nigeria, we don't do dark arts to win matches. So, no, we host you very well. We did not do it to Benin Republic that landed in New York. We did not do it to South Africa that landed in New York. We've never done it to Ghana. Then it's Libya. With all due respect to Libya, now so we do it to. No, no. Benin Republic beat us in World Cup qualify. We didn't do it to them. They came to you. Everybody lands in New York. They decided to land in Port Harcourt. They were cutting costs or whatever it was. They called the NFF an hour after they took off that they were going to land in Port Harcourt. And the NFF said, no, you are supposed to land in New York. The NFF still made prayer arrangements for them to land in New York after they get to Port Harcourt. You know, made, uh, you know, contacted fan and everything, made arrangements. They did not want to pay extra cost to whoever they hired their plane from, from Libya. They were trying to cut costs. They now came to Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt, Port Harcourt that is fairly new now it's been refurbished very well has space seats everything they now sat on the floor that they're taking pictures and some of you gullible nigerians are falling for it that's not we will not fall for it let me give you my credentials i've traveled with this team to morocco i traveled with the team to rwanda i come back often for the games in new york so i know how the thing runs you understand even when they were in new york we provided them with security gave them the best hotels that is how we run we know they do we'll lock you up for 13, 15 hours in the airport, no food, sleep on the couch. This same Libya people did it to him by 2022. I think it was in Confederations Cup. Go and check it online. And him by the way in the airport for 24 hours. This is their way. So stop supporting nonsense. Clarify. Even if you don't trust the NFS, at least people like us that have some form of credibility, we are telling you how it runs. You understand? I was with this team in New York. You understand? I saw everything. We gave them the best hotels. We gave them correct time to train everything security convoy everything that they needed and that's why we went with rwanda rwanda gave us the same thing that's the standard project that's the standard practice let the game be decided on the pitch and not by some wickedness you guys actually so, heard everything he said you guys heard it when libya people came to nigeria they even landed in the wrong airport even landing in the wrong airport the nff the nigeria football federation also took care of them everything and all that i think this picture there that was going viral on social media this picture of them sitting on the floor i think this was when they were in portacourt airport which is the wrong airport now where they go arrive instead of arriving in new airport you heard what the man said definitely they planned this i think this was a planned something they already planned to frustrate nigerian players Definitely, I love the fact that the Nigeria players, the Super Eagles, on their way back to Nigeria. Definitely, Libya people will not go pay for this thing. What do you guys have to say about this? Let me know your thoughts via the comment section. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please subscribe. Hit the bell notification button to always get notified whenever I draw videos like this. I remain your favorite. Big VK. I'm out.